Hey guys, my name is Mustafa. I'm a fourth year anesthesiology resident here at UT Health. I'm one of the chief anesthesiology residents. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my personal statement that I wrote to help me get into med school. This was back in 2012. Um, so I'll break it down. I'll go over the intro and some other parts as well and tell you what to focus on. A trembling earth sent the Lebanese citizens of Berlies into a frantic scatter. <laughs> However, this was no earthquake. Bombs rained from the sky like a swarm of fireflies, claiming victims indiscriminate of age, race, or religious identity. As I ran in a panic frenzy, a mother's shrills echoed through my ears as she gazed helplessly at her battered son's bleeding arm. Without pause, I summoned a team of strangers to help me lift him to safety, peering behind me as my friend's shadows became silhouettes in the distance. As the mother thanked me, we used makeshift materials from a nearby grocery store to patch up the child's wounds. In this moment of ultimate danger and uncertainty, the sectarian religious differences that tore us apart were non-existent. Rather, we were united by the common humanity that we shared and the tragedy that would ensue if we did not rally to help this child. So background story, this is when I was visiting uh, some of my family in Lebanon back in 2006 and a war broke out and it completely just changed my view of the world and it provided me with the impetus to pursue medicine as well. So I wanted to use that as a hook. Looking back at it, it's kind of cheesy, like especially at the, especially at the beginning, but you know, it's gonna hook the reader, grab their attention and have them keep reading. So overall, I liked it. Enduring through the war in Lebanon the summer before starting college is what inspired me to enter the realm of medicine. I saw myself emulating these vivid experiences as a physician. Um, similarly, I witnessed how these experiences paralleled my own struggles, much like the war ignited tensions between different religious groups. My career goals took a backseat to my daily responsibilities as I unsuccessfully tried to balance academic success while working two jobs to try and pay off student loans. Although I'm not proud of my inconsistent academic performance, it was this adversity that cultivated my unwavering determination to become a physician. So I, when I initially started undergrad, um, I didn't know if I wanted to become a doctor or not, so I had a couple of bad grades and I just wanted to address that. You don't have to take you know, the whole personal statement to address that. You could just take a couple of sentences, address it, and move on. Whereas much attention focused on the chaos that filled in the streets, little light was shed on the systematic problems that exacerbated the ongoing crisis. I saw this firsthand during my time as an intern with the UN where I would transport refugees from high-risk areas to receive vital medical care. Commonly, all it took was basic access to essential therapies to cure them of their ailments. This irony was fully captured in a moment where I picked up a 12 year old child who had to be transported due to a lingering bacterial infection, but happily puffed and passed out cigarettes he purchased at the local market. So I remember when I was there, I wanted to get involved and help and I got involved with the UN. And it was just like baffled me that a lot of times I saw kids smoking cigarettes, but they just couldn't get access to antibiotics or any medications that easily. And so I wanted to show the reader that I kind of had a nice scope of uh, medicine and how these uh, social determinants of health really can affect someone's ability to obtain care. So in light of these disparities, I saw innovative ways to contribute to local underserved com communities. This has been realized through my participation in the Cultural Cup, which doubles as a free clinic and a food bank. During my time there, I've utilized my thespian background to raise awareness through documentaries and other media, or most recently as a means to raise funds to expand into a mobile clinic. So I talked about my activities a little bit, just touched on them, uh, told the reader how they affected me and how pushed me towards uh, pursuing a career in medicine. I think that's something you can do. You can break down your personal statement, do an intro, uh, a paragraph or two about why you wanna do medicine, address anything on your application, uh, and tie in some of your activities. Don't expand on like what exactly you did. It doesn't have to be drawn out. Just put a sentence or two. My path to medicine has been marred with arduous trials, yet graced with heartfelt moments of compassion. Through my time in war, I've learned that the common fabric of humanism is what drives us to do noble things. In extension, my work in the community has shown me that it is the propensity to defer to others and work as a team that signifies a great leader. It's pretty deep. Drawing from these experiences, I aspire to become an astute clinician and pioneer in an effort to realize health equity and eradicate the structural determinants that poison the system and plague the lives of so many.
So I wanna give you guys a few tips about your personal statement, how you can really set yourself apart from other applicants. Um, as part of the admissions committee in my medical school, I interviewed a lot of med students. I read through a lot of applications. So hopefully I can apply some of that knowledge and help you guys out. In addition to that, I had some phenomenal mentors that were also on admissions committees. Even at Harvard, I had a friend who was on the admissions committee at Harvard, and he really helped me out and helped me stand out on my application as well. So first off, you wanna split your personal statement into an introduction, have a couple of paragraphs talking about why you wanna do medicine, address anything in your application, such as bad grades or time off, etc in your personal statement as well you don't have to expand upon it too much but i do recommend addressing it that way you provide an answer to the application committee and they can kind of see why you took that time off or why you got those bad grades your personal statement should have a nice hook it might be cheesy as long as it's unique and it sets you apart that's the main point the other paragraphs you want to talk about why you went into medicine how it affected you, how certain activities affected you, how certain experiences affected you, and go ahead and just elaborate on that. Now, before you do your personal statement, make sure the rest of your application is ready. Make sure that you've done your MCAT. Don't spend hours and hours doing your personal statement if you're working and studying on your MCAT. Don't do that, don't make that mistake, because if you don't have the MCAT scores or the grades to get into med school, then no one's even gonna read your personal statement. So focus on those things, and I've actually talked about this in another video, so you can go ahead and watch that as well, and it tells you what you should focus on in what order, because a lot of times as an undergrad, you hear different things, and I just wanna make sure to clear up some information. So after incorporating activities and experiences and uh, explaining why you wanna do medicine, Go ahead and wrap everything up in your conclusion. Make sure that it's concise, it's short, and succinct. You don't want to bore the reader too much. You've already elaborated on why you want to do medicine. Just go ahead and wrap everything up and deliver the last points about why you should be accepted into the program. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe for those of you new to my channel. So for those of you who haven't, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.